Across the 690,000 households in Merseyside and Holton, residents can recycle through the curbside collections provided by each local council. They can take larger household items like furniture, electrical goods, textiles, metal and wood to household waste recycling centres across the region. In the past, residual waste, that's the waste that can't be or isn't currently being recycled, has been sent to landfill. But pioneering technology means it can now be used to generate electricity. Enough electricity, in fact, to power the equivalent of 63,000 homes. The journey to turn this waste into energy starts here, at the Knowsley Rail Loading Transfer Station, where rubbish is tipped into two huge bunkers. Each one holds around 1,800 tonnes of waste. On average, the equivalent of 16,000 wheelie bins full of rubbish is delivered to the transfer station each day. A large grab crane moves the residual waste from the bunkers into the rail containers. A compacting machine compresses the waste so as much as possible fits into the container. The containers are then loaded onto the train while it's still inside the rail loading transfer station. Once the train is loaded, it begins the eight hour journey to the energy from waste plant at Wilton on Teesside. Transporting the waste by rail saves the equivalent of 21,000 HGV journeys and offsets around 127,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions a year. Nine trains a week arrive at Wilton. Each container is hoisted from the train and lifted onto a hydraulic tilter and the waste is tipped into a large bunker. A crane equipped with a huge grab claw picks the waste up and mixes it by dropping it into a second bunker. The mixed up waste is then dropped into a hopper that feeds the furnace where it burns at temperatures of over a thousand degrees. Even at these temperatures it can take up to four hours to burn. Burning the waste generates flue gases which pass through two boilers converting it into superheated steam. The plant can supply heat as steam to the surrounding industrial businesses through a Wilton site network. Any steam that's not exported is fed into a turbine to generate electricity. A link to an on-site substation means that the electricity can be supplied to local businesses or fed directly into the national grid. The process is extremely efficient. The bottom ash produced is collected and cooled before being taken away on a large conveyor belt to a site facility. It's fed through a magnetic device to remove any metal and then it's processed into secondary aggregates for use in the construction industry. A complex air quality control system is installed, which is so effective that it easily meets the stringent targets set by the Waste Incineration Directive. Stack emissions are continuously analysed and the results monitored by the Environment Agency. By using waste in this way, we can produce cost-effective energy and divert Merseyside and Holton's waste from landfill. Creating energy from waste not only reduces the need to put waste into landfill, but also means that your household rubbish can become a valuable resource.